Hey, what's up my friend, Byron Davis here, founder of The Authority Labs and the creator of the Speak and Scale Business Academy. I wanted to make this quick video uh, to share with you a book that has really inspired me. Um, the book is called Love Does by Bob Golf. And what I appreciate about the book is that it really has empowered me to get unstuck and more importantly, stay out of my own way. Uh, Bob Golf, literally throughout this whole book, just shares one story of his life after another. Uh, and what's inspiring about his life is that he is literally the real life Forrest Gump. He literally will take a big idea, an idea that at first glance seems impossible, but yet through simple, consistent, and committed action, he finds a way to make those big ideas happen. And the book just goes through story after story on how he uses a simple framework to make this thing happen. And one of the ideas that I wanted to share with you that inspires me in this framework um, is the concept and the idea around sustaining your belief. Look, you and I both know that beliefs are incredibly important, very important in accomplishing big goals and dreams. But what's equally as important is our intentionality in sustaining those beliefs. Here's what I mean. Think of it this way. Uh, if you wanted to cook s'mores or, or steak or anything on an open fire, you build that fire, right? But what happens if you just left that fire to burn alone? Over time, of course, that fire would burn out, right? Of course. But what does that mean? That means if you want to actually be able to use and benefit from all that fire does, you actively have to sustain and feed that fire, right? Well, much like fire, our beliefs are the same thing. Our beliefs can do wonderful and powerful things, but in order for us to leverage the power of our belief, we too must sustain and feed our beliefs. I thought that that was just such an elegant and simple but profound way of thinking about our beliefs. How that empowers, empowers me and how I want uh, actually to empower you is to, is to think now that hey, there will be times where your beliefs will weaken, it will wane. What that just means is, chances are, you've just left those beliefs unattended. And in that process, it's just like the fire will go down if you don't intentionally feed it with wood. Our beliefs will weaken if we don't intentionally feed it with affirming action and support. Okay, and so that's what I want you to do is I want you to think about it. If you have a goal, a big goal, a hairy, big, audacious goal and dream, um, and you recognize that uh, when you think about it, it, it intimidates you. Recognize that all that means is you need to intentionally sustain and feed your beliefs. Let me give you three concepts on how to do that. Three practical ways to sustain and build your belief so that uh, you can actually uh, have that belief to accomplish your goals. Number one, you want to learn to protect your beliefs, okay? At times, just like if it's raining and you still want it to build a fire, you would intentionally guard that fire against elements that would put that fire out. It's important that you and I protect our beliefs like we would protect that fire, okay? Number two, second tip, is you want to make sure that you create a game plan um, to sustain your beliefs, all right? You need a roadmap, you need a, a progression that will allow you to sustain that belief. Again, if we're using the analogy of the fire, you will probably have on standby a pile of logs that you could just access in order to feed the fire. Likewise, for sustaining and, and, and nurturing our beliefs, we want to make sure that we have a pile of books, resources, people, uh, anything that we can immediately access in order to pour back into the fire of our belief. All right, that's tip number two. Last tip I want to give you is just like that fire, you have to create the context and the conditions that will allow that fire to thrive. In the same way, you must make sure that you control the context and the conditions that will allow, allow your beliefs to thrive as well. Make sense? All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Remember Bob Golf and his book, uh, Love Does, a powerful um, and, and delightful collection of stories that will probably inspire you too to get unstuck and stay out of your own way.
All right, my friend, I'm going to leave it there. Remember, in everything that you do, live generously, live courageously, and always choose to live your best life. You and I, we get one shot at this life. We have to make that shot count, right? All right, my friend, I'll see you in the next video.